As a superannuation fund operating in the media sector, we've long thought about how we might be able to assist the sector while assisting our members. We were wanting to support the film industry in particular, but it's quite a difficult industry to, to um, manage and also to make any money out of. And so we went out to the marketplace to see who was best positioned to help us that, in that regard. Fulcrum emerged as clearly the, the ones that we wanted to be involved with. So Fulcrum Media Finance is a, is a private lender that specialises in film and television financing. Our objective is essentially to help the film and television sector within Australia and internationally. The media super funding is the predominant part of our investment mix. Most of the money that we have in terms of going into the industry, um, we try and utilise the media super funds as much as we can. Why it's been very attractive for us is, is this. The Commonwealth, uh, the Commonwealth Government, both parties actually, because, it, because it's bipartisan, provides funding for films in a thing called the producer offset. So they provide about 40% of the total cost of making a film. The production company needs funding at the beginning to enable it to actually contribute the full amount that it needs to its budget and to make the production. We give them a loan, they complete the film. At that stage, the ATO pays out the producer offset. Producer offset comes back to us to repay our loan together with interest. That interest comprises the return on Media Super's investments. We're very hands off as far as the um, selection of films or television series, uh, so we allow, the, allow Fulcrum to make that judgement. We've been involved in a number of films, like The Railway Man, um, which is Colin Firth's quite famous film now, Wolf Creek 2, most recently The Rover. Your brother left you to die. That's what people do. You don't learn to fight, your death's going to come real soon. The Rover's a, a modern, fable, I think, of warning the politics behind the rover and the fable is, is the breakdown of, of society as we know it now. My character really operates as a, very much as a, as a device for the story in terms of we bookend the film, uh, the three characters, Tawanda, Scoot and I uh, bookend the beginning of the film, the stealing of the car and Guy and Robert's character coming to get that car back at the end of the film. As a media super member and um, as a director and a, a film as well, I'm really excited about the idea that the media super organisation wants to utilise the funds to invest in Australian film. The 40% rebate is a really great opportunity and I think the fact that the super fund is investing in terms of the rebate and so forth, cash flowing that is, is a really sw a smart way to go. Film finance is an ideal investment for media super for a number of reasons but primarily because of the fact that we have at the very beginning of the production, we have a, an exact idea really of what the return is going to be. So Media Super knows what they're going to get back on the money that they put in. That's beneficial to the members, obviously. The key point as well is that the funding that's coming back to repay the loan and to therefore provide the interest, which is a return on investment, is government money. It's been a very good return for us. So it's had that virtuous circle of doing great things for Australian culture and Australian storytelling. Uh, it's done really good things for employment in the industry, uh, but importantly, it's produced really good returns for our members.